Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to use YOLO v4 object detection on Android. We are going to use YOLO v4 Tiny TF Lite, YOLO v4 TF Lite and custom YOLO v4 TF Lite models. So let's get started. First of all, we need to set up Android Studio. Go to the official website and download latest version. Install it with default options. When installation is finished, start Android Studio. Hit next, click on standard, hit next. I'm going to select dark theme, click next and then finish. It's going to download a few things, let it run in the background and meanwhile, you should go to this GitHub repository and clone it or download it as zip file. A little disclaimer that I have forked this repository from this author, so all the credits to the original author. Once the repository is cloned and the Android Studio has finished downloading bunch of stuff, click on open existing project and then head over to the cloned repository and there is a folder called Android, select it and hit OK. Now in the panel on the left hand side, if we expand app, we will see two folders called assets and Java. Assets contains the existing YOLO v4 Tiny TF Lite model, while the Java folder contains the codes to run object detection. Now right click on the TF Lite file and open in Explorer. There are a bunch of files here. Coco.txt contains the names of the classes on which YOLO v4 was trained. Then there is a demo image to run object detection in mobile and of course the tiny YOLO v4 model. We are not going to change anything here and get straight back to Android Studio. Expand Java and then open main activity file by double clicking on it. Then expand TF Lite and open YOLO v4 classifier file. And finally open detector activity file. Now we will run tiny YOLO v4 object detection. For that, go to YOLO v4 classifier file and search for an option called is tiny. The value is set to false by default. Change it to true and save the file. Then go to build, then build bundles and click on build APK. Wait for Android Studio to build your file. Once it notifies you that it is done, click on locate. There you have it. You can copy that in your mobile and install it like any other app. I'm going to show you how it performs on my mobile. Let's open the app and here we have the demo image. So just tap on detect and it will perform object detection on this image. It has detected a few objects but has missed quite a few. That's understandable as it is tiny YOLO v4 which is not much accurate. And if we tap on camera mode, it will run object detection on video stream of your camera. It is detecting my laptop and person on the screen. If we bring up this little panel here, which shows the speed of object detection, we see that its inference time is between 500 to 600 milliseconds for each frame, which is a little bit slower than I expected because two frames per second is far from real time. Its accuracy is also quite low. Let's see how it performs on full version of YOLO v4 model. We converted the original YOLO v4 to TF Lite in this video and we also did FP16 quantization. So we have got that file here. I will copy the FP16 version of the file and paste it in the assets folder of our Android app. We do not need the tiny version of TF Lite model so I am going to delete it. And let's also remove label map and detect files. Rest of the things remain the same. Let's go back to Android Studio and set the isTiny flag to false in YOLO v4 classifier.java file. Now go to detector activity.java and change the TF model file name. We have FP16 instead of FP32, so let's change that. Then let's go to main activity.java file and change the file name here as well. Click save. Again, go to build and build APK. When build is done, install the APK on your mobile. Now this full version of YOLO v4 is able to detect all the objects in the demo image. And in camera mode, well, although it's more accurate, but 
It takes between 7 to 8 seconds per frame for running inferencing, which is horrible. Let's see how our custom model performs. We are going to copy custom YOLO V4 TF Lite model, which we got as a result of this video. Paste in assets folder, remove all previous files except coco.txt. Open coco.txt and we are going to edit it. Our custom YOLO V4 model had just one class called John Wick. So I'm going to remove all other class names and just insert John Wick on first line. Save the file. Then I'm going to put this wick.jpeg file for the demo in our mobile instead of kite.jpg. Now head back to Android Studio and change the TF Lite file name to custom underscore YOLO v4 underscore fp16 dot TF Lite in main activity dot java file. Similarly, rename the file name in detector activity dot java file as well. Then head back to main activity dot java file and search for kite dot jpg and replace it with wick dot jpeg. That's it. Go to build and build apk again and install it on your mobile phone. Open the app and let's see how it performs on demo image. It detects John Wick and ignores Neo. So that's perfect. On videos, it is able to detect John Wick, but with the speed of one frame every seven seconds. So if you are planning to run custom object detection using YOLO v4 on Android, either go for YOLO v4 Tiny or use MobileNet instead. I will see you in next one.